Half a billion dollar ICO Tezos stung by second lawsuit in under a month. Tezos, a company with over half a billion dollars in crypto assets, had been rocked by yet another lawsuit. Following a record, EA King ICO four months ago, founders Arthur and Kathleen Brightman have endured a torrid time after falling out with the head of the Tezos Foundation. Concerned investors filed a class action lawsuit on October 25. Now, it's emerged that a second suit has been filed in Florida. When Icos go wrong when husband and wife team Arthur and Kathleen Brightman raised $232 million in a high-profile token sale this year, they were hailed as paragons of success. Their decentralized governance model was going to be the benchmark against which future tokenized projects would be measured. Following a well-publicized fallout with Tezos Foundation overseer Johan Gevers, however, the project became M. Oiled in controversy, investors, who were promised a stake in a new digital commonwealth, are still waiting for their decentralized wonderland to materialize. Frustrated and fed up, a group of them have lost patience and filed a class action lawsuit. The second to be leveled against the Brightmans in three weeks. The Tezos lawsuit, which was filed in AU.S. District Court in Florida, alleges that the couple sold unregistered securities in violation of federal law. Court in the act with SEC Chairman Jay Clayton recently opining that the majority of ICOs constitute securities. Tezos plaintiffs may have a prima facie case. In a wide-ranging complaint, the Brightmans, the Tezos Foundation, and Dynamic Ledge Solutions, the company which owns Tezos intellectual property, are all cited as defendants. The damning complaint reads, Notwithstanding the defendants in number 8217, attempts to avoid governmental and private scrutiny, it is clear that the financiers were indeed profit-seeking investors in a security and that defendants promoted and conducted an unregistered offering of securities, not a charitable fundraiser. It also cites many misrepresentations, factual omissions and unlawful activities engaged in by the defendants it appears. The plaintiffs cannot, and potentially will not, see any return on their investments. The world in number 8217's most expensive tote bag. They were promised tezzies but wound up with a tote begin a quote that does come back to haunt. Kathleen Brightman, the project founder likened the company's fundraiser to contributing to a public television station. Dismissing suggestions that tezzies tokens could be securities. She said it was more like receiving a tote bag. With the Tezos project yet to get off the ground and investors forced to watch in anguish as the cryptocurrencies they parted with appreciate in value. The event has cast a shadow over 2017's ICO Bonanza. The $232 million of Ethereum and Bitcoin that Tezos raised back in July would be worth $590 million. At today's prices, there should be more than enough in the pot to cover legal fees and compensation. Should the courts find against Tezos in either of their impending lawsuits? Whatever the outcome, the experience has left a bitter taste in the mouths of investors.